When it comes to fighting the climate crisis, carbon dioxide often gets the most attention. But it's not the only thing warming our planet. Other highly potent pollutants, like methane, ground-level ozone, HFCs and black carbon, can heat up our atmosphere at a rapid rate. For example, methane emissions from natural gas leaks, agricultural production and landfills warm the planet with an intensity of 86 times that of carbon dioxide over a 20-year time horizon. Because these gases pack such a big punch, they're sometimes called super pollutants, and they are a huge deal. More than half a degree Celsius, or one degree Fahrenheit of global warming can be avoided by 2050 if we use cost-effective solutions that are already available today. So what can countries do? First, stop methane emissions from oil and gas production, agriculture and landfills, which also makes economic sense for companies, farmers and governments. Second, properly dispose of and replace HFCs used in refrigerators and air conditioning. Third, encourage the use of clean cookstoves that improve efficiency and people's health. And fourth, put policies in place to phase out black carbon emissions from cars, trucks, buses and ships. If implemented globally, these measures can save more than 2 million lives per year, avoid 50 million tonnes of crop losses, and significantly slow the rate of sea level rise. The bottom line, stepping up efforts to reduce super pollutants is a win for the climate and a win for our well-being.